Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, I almost forgot about you guys. The recorded dudes, I just remembered as we got here. Luckily for us, we only got here a few minutes ago. So yeah, um, let's get out of here. Let's go. Taking this. As you can see, guys, there's something over here I gotta do. So let's go back a little bit. All right, good. We can get out of here. Uh... So yeah, guys, my experiments for um, YouTube's um, horizontal and vertical looks like they're doing the job. Which is great. That means I'll have to make a second. Stopping suddenly and looking around at nothing. I'm here if you need someone to talk to. Oh, sorry, no. I'm just trying to be extra careful in here. I'm fine. No, you're not. Trust me, it's not, guys. What right past this? How did I go past it? Punch me in the face. I mean, seriously, I ran right past it. Yes, guys, I'm collecting everything um, as much as I can. Alright. Look that far away from the end, in a way. Uh, let's go. There's another one of those crystal things I need to collect. Where are we up to? We've got two out of five and two out of four, so we're doing well. Hey dude, what's up? Hey, that's funny dude. I'm from Australia too. Alright, I didn't see a message down there. I don't know why, but it's not showing up where it should be. So yeah, um... Good up. Welcome, King. The shorts are working fantastically the way I want it. Dilophos had to travel the whole world to defeat the Benevidons. All eight by himself? I can't imagine me and Ramco trying to do the same. Nah, it'll be next to impossible. I mean, it'll be so hard, wouldn't it? We need to fight these guys. But, getting to a point where we can get some more experience. So we'll just keep doing it guys. We'll experience up. I'll be using Yeah guys, I think I will create a second um restream account. So I can have one for virtual um vertical, one for horizontal. Looks like we've been teleported. The question is, well, let me do another YouTube one. I don't know if I can have two more than two at the time. I should be able to. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I bet they do. Alright, let's just keep going, guys. We'll explore it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. This is... Going... Okay, some monsters. I like to beat them up. Because of the so powerful guys, their abilities don't affect me. So much to do here. Why is my phone keep going off every five seconds? All right, we got that. Yes. All right, we're doing good. Guys, I am keeping an eye on chat, just in case. I've got to make sure I pay attention, because I've got a terrible tendency of not doing that. Um, let's get rid of these guys. They're not that dangerous. Ow. Alright, that's it, you die. Okay, we've got a good amount of experience out of that one. It's starting to matter. The experience is starting to be worth it. Alright, just gonna figure out what we gotta do. Um, brain is not working very well, because... <clears throat> I haven't been here for ages, guys, so... I don't remember it 100%, but... If I'm correct, we've gotta go back this way. 
We gotta move from those um, light sources all over the place. All right, that's that one. All right. All right, go this way. Go that way. Go go here. Alright, that's it, huh? I think that's all I had to do for this area. Remember guys, if you like what you're watching, don't forget to check it out. So for you guys watching on YouTube, there is a vertical and a horizontal version. I don't know why um, YouTube's done it like that. I think it's stupid, personally. I've got to do it two different ways for it to work. But I don't understand why they're doing it. I just... I wish there was another way, that's all. Oh, damn it! Okay, I can't jump over that, that way because the game's buggy. Alright, um. Can't get up that way, can I? Oh, you stupid character. You can get up that way, it's just a bit tedious. There's gotta be a way up there. I think I know, I know, I think I know it. No, it's too high up. No, it won't be that one, it's too high up. Maybe that one. Yeah, it could be that one. Alright, there is a way up there, but I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Alright, um... I keep pushing the wrong button for some reason. I'll just move. Alright, like okay, the okay. there we go. That works perfectly. This requires a bit of thinking. Alright, oh, that's it for this area. Um, how many what we got left? Two more chests and one more of those elemental crystal thingies. If I'm correct, there should be a chest up here, guys. My oh, mind speak, for you guys who are interested in my Minecraft stuff, I will be studying that tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, particularly. Let's do this. Alright, we've got a fight in here, guys. We've got a big fight coming up. And we're severely overpowered, so probably going to be even in about two hits. Yeah, let's go for it, guys. Battle time! Alright, hey dude! Oh, you're from Canberra! Yeah, so I'm from Melbourne. Why is there always some weirdo putting some weird shit out? Oh, well, I guess you gotta run into him, guys. Oh yeah, I'm from Melbourne, dude. Um, let me turn the sound down. I can actually talk a bit more. You're telling me. I still got a little bit to go, guys, but not much. Um, but yeah, I'm from Mel I'm Melbourne, so it's about ten to eight here at night. I mean, I'm going to get a lot of weird, um, comments, because I get, as I said before, um, I'm 
doing the um, vertical stream for my first time on YouTube. But for my um, whole, I was doing a whole Santo one on YouTube. But technically, I got two streams on YouTube. All I wanted, it was all I wanted in life, and yet. He sounds like he's in pain. Like the memories are too hard to bear. Yeah, so you can hear his um thoughts, guys. That's what's going on. And he's completely right in that. That's sick. He's in pain. Got some syrup. Yes. That's one way of dealing with him. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. Like I said, it's nothing really here that's really hard. Um, let's get going. Remember, guys, if you like what you're watching, hit the follow button or subscribe button, whatever you, it is where you're watching it from. Okay, be careful here, guys. There's a. If the light passes through, the floor appears. I think the floor's there the whole time. We just can't make it out. Light leads the way to truth in all things, you might say, including the floor. Yes. Yeah, basically, 100% right there, guys. That's what's happening. Um, as I said, it's going to be nice to do this sort of vertical and all that. I'm going to have to set up a second restream account, guys, so I can have one for my vertical and one for my horizontal. So that means, for example, the horizontal one will be like um, Twitch, this version of YouTube, Kick, and what's that? Then the vertical ones will be for like, um, the shorts and Instagram and TikTok and whatever the case may be. A bit annoying, I'm gonna make two accounts and they do kind of are annoying, but that's fine. If I set it up by tomorrow, guys, I can have a good amount of good work. Alright, um, these guys are not that hard to beat normally. Actually now, um, actually to be honest, they are hard, you have to use your fire element. But other than that, they are, can be, they can be hard, I take it back. The only reason it looks so easy now is because it's so highly leveled that it's just not, it's buffering anything they, any of their resistance. In short, we are okay, guys. You can see it. I want to go off the edge. That's not a good idea. Hello, dude, what's up? What game is this? This is uh, Fissions of Manta. A mana. Actually, I'll write it down for you. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. I like that one. Um, give me a second. Why can't oh, I write in this? Thing? Oh, that's why. Okay, that's it. Um, give me a second, guys. It's... So I'll write down the game to name the game. So. Um, just be careful, guys. It's, I've still got to fix up the um, bot a little bit. So, um, apparently... The, okay, Nightbots. What the hell is Nightbot running? Alright, guys. I'll have to fix up a few things. Because there are a few restrictions. Um, no, this is not you. I don't really care about a cap locks and all that bullshit. So, I'm going to fix a few things up. Um, just give me a few minutes, guys. I'll, it'll take me a few minutes to organise it. I don't want to do it on that screen, obviously. So let me get out of this area. Once we do this area and beat the boss and all that, I'll take a few minutes off the game and fix up the bots. For example, the um, night bot is not needed anymore. I thought I turned it off, but apparently not. Just one more look. One more smile. What does Dilophos mean? Yeah, at the moment, guys, I'm severely overpowered, so... Yeah, let me fix it. Like I said, I'll fix it up shortly. I thought I turned it off, to be honest, but I'll check. Actually, you know what? We'll set it up right now. Just, yeah, because we're at the boss now, so... Give me a second. I want to fix up a few things, guys. One, I've got to log into my YouTube again. Um, I've got to go into my... What do you call it? My studio. 
I've got to figure out what things that night block night bots should not be active in here. I thought I turned it turned him off. Uh, yes, I did. He's not active. What the hell? Okay, I turned him off, but yeah, he still kicks in. What the hell's going on there? I have to go on. I'll go to the website itself and deactivate it that way. Nice. Let's get me going there, guys. I'll go and configure it, log in. And log into my YouTube. And turn it off. Oh, crap. Which uh, would be my gaming one, so that would be you. Yeah, she has logged me in. Oh, God. I've got to turn them off. Okay, continue. I don't need it. I don't, it doesn't need to be a part of this channel, guys. So let's part it. Let's get a move. That's a good free bot if you want to use it. But I'm, I use the Steam Labs bot because it's got more advanced stuff. But now that's deactivated, so um. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Alright, that's deactivated. I've still got other accounts that I need to deactivate, but I can do that off camera. So now that should remove move the um. some of the restrictions. Now I'm gonna to have to go on the Steam Labs and remove their restrictions. So let me do that now. Um, you can see it on here, guys. So you have a bit more restrict, um, more front open thing, um, yeah, um, it's night time so my brain's not working, okay, 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 here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, restrict, uh, no, that should not be okay. I don't care about symbols. Um, the only thing I won't let you do is put link in, that's obviously it worked. Restrict words that are my um, blocks. At least I don't have any block list, so. Depends. Don't care about that. Okay, I fixed it up, guys. I'm hoping that should be enough. That should not be. Hey! Hey, what's up, dude, on Facebook? Um, let's give me a second, guys. We'll get back to my windows. And we'll continue the game um, as soon as I figure out what we it. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, I think they're all fixed. Guys, if you're still there, um, do some caps lock or something. I'll need to see if it worked. It should have worked before, but it's what it is. I mean, it's annoying. So, how do I do it on Facebook? I mean, I do apologize. I'm fixing up my, um, oh, I hate computers. Bring Windows trying to snap into every single location. But I don't want it to snap in. All right, guys, now we're going to continue, all right? I do apologize. We've got a bit distracted. Um, so I'm doing, um, uh, are we there yet? Or, no, we're down here. So let's go. So yeah, guys. It should be, act it should be fine now. It's as high as it's going to get, guys. I mean, you can't go much higher. Probably the Benevadon and Delafos. Be wary of both, Val. Right. We should prepare now before we move on. We're not going to die, guys. We're too powerful. Okay, I fixed up the bots and all that. It shouldn't be a problem. Galapos. Champion of the goddess. Enemy of my kin. Your truth from the past differs from what you find in the present. My eternal seal is broken. I would give my thanks. I'm sweating a lot. So hard to get a jacket off, seriously. Alright guys, I did fix everything up, so hopefully you guys will come back and we can have a nice conversation. Now that I know I can get some people from my, my shorts, that's good. Dilophos. Give me Wait, Val. Something's not right. 
Oh, you're right about that, dude. Paul's <laughs> gone crazy. I'm very happy that shorts are doing well. Um, normally they'll be better, but hey. Overflowing with power. Oh God. <laughs> this is the strength I remember. With such energy at my command, I will take my revenge on the goddess. Light is but a reflection of dark. Shadows breed where light is strongest. Pray, where do you fall? I, You'll find out. Thea will be the judge. But wait, we have so many questions. All right. Um. Yeah. He's. She's kind of going to die very quickly. But she is a bit stronger. No, she's actually really weak. Uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna get frozen here, guys. Oh, she's done! That was easy. Yeah, guys, as I said, we're severely overpowered here. No boss we can't beat. Maybe not, but we are a champion nevertheless. We want to make things better. Not because someone asked us to, but because we know that it's the right thing to do. Tell me, what made Delafos change from a hero of legend into this? Do you know? The character in Delafos and Cerulea had a mission. A reason to take up the sword again and fight. He was the goddess's chosen champion. And a hero of the people. Yes, he was. What happened to him? Light is a reflection of darkness. Utter devotion corrodes into vengeful resentment. You and he suffered the same pain. The same pain? Maybe, but I don't, I'm not a monster. Hina. I do not bestow known truths upon mortals. Faith sees to it that what must be revealed is shown in due time. But I shall bear witness to your truth to the end. Alright. I don't think you can beat him exactly, but I get thrown away. Look, the light elemental. Hey -o -o, it's me, Lumina. And may I say kudos for getting Silafia to see reason? <laughs> Impressive. Lumina, it's been forever in a day. Hey, yeah, actually. But not quite. Seeing Delafos in the state. Looks like nothing's changed since the last time he attacked the goddess. <laughs> Delafos attacked her in that form? Why go to such lengths to hurt the goddess of mana? We should warn her that her old buddy's back and looking for trouble while we have the chance. Hmm. Do you think there's a way to seek an audience with the goddess? When That's what we need, guys. All this fuss, and we still don't know why Delafos is acting like this in the first place. Suffering the same pain that I am. That is what the Benevadon said. Yeah, it's gotta be a clue. Something to do with what sparked his need for revenge. I could feel it the further we went into the temple. Delafos is in agony. The glaring light will obscure the boundaries of reality. Perhaps the boundaries of your minds were breached in some way. All we've got are theories. What I know for sure is that Delafos is tormented by something. Oh, yes he is. What his reasons? We have to stop Delafos before he upends the whole world. That's the only way to know what really happened. And have a chance to get Hina's core stone back. Look at you! Facing 
challenges head on and finding the courage to go after the truth. You're lighting your own way. Okay, I've decided. Fairy? All right, let's do this. Oh, the fairy's here. The last one, the last elm. It's been decided. Oh, at least there's one good news. Already got a job. Soulguard. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Liza was a soul guard once, and then became the Alm of Yeah, true. Seeker of truth. A suitable pseudonym. Val was willing to interrogate a Benevidon in order to better understand our quandary. And Lumina does have a soft spot for you. Of course I do. Yeah, because he saved him. Of course he would. And they're all friendly. Every single one of those elementals. Uh, okay. Some are better than others. Um, I'm very disappointed, guys. Same life should be disabled. I, Val the Soul Guard, accept my new position as the Alm of Light. Tasmania, mate. Oh, cool. Sure Why the hell? We'll have no problem convincing our guardian friend. All right, I'm done there. I've uh, got a feeling we will. Um, well, what are you waiting for? Go back to the town and let everyone know not to worry. They've got a new arm of light. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, though. <laughs> but no, it's actually a good thing, guys. Now that we've got that, we can go to the manage the mana tree. Of course, before Pal could not go there because he had to be an arm. Aisha's probably in the front of the theater. Yep, we can fast travel right to it. But first, it looks like there's something here we need to fast travel to. Um, oh yeah, we'll fast travel there. Get that side quest out the way, guys. I'll be doing the side questing stuff mostly at the end because we've done this before. And a lot of the stuff we got from it, we, re we still have, so... There's no urgency to do it. Helping out people in need can be so rewarding. But yeah, let's get going, guys. This area is done in a way, so. Alright, so now we can head to the uh, mana tree, guys. That's where we're going. Remember, guys, I'm level 91, 92, so. You've returned. I assume that means you've dealt with the Benevidon of Light? You can say that. Oh, enough about that. The sky has cleared. And so have our heads. We remember the entire script for Delafos and Cerulea. Now I'm sure that I can nail the part. Out of courtesy, I refrained from asking anything about the final act until the alms returned. Might I inquire now? Maybe. Of course. Here it goes. Delafos and Cerulea. Final act. The hero comes to the end of his long journey. With the power of the Mana Sword, Delaphos managed to subdue all eight of the Benevidons, earning him the title of legendary hero by all those he had saved. Knowing that such awesome power should not be left in the hands of mortals, Delaphos returned the sword to the goddess. Yeah, guys, that's not how it went. The war ended and the Benevidon threat quelled. Delaphos found he had no more need to fight. His duty was complete. This is not true. He returned home to his beloved Cerulea to live out the rest of his days in peace and tranquility. The end. Not how it worked, guys. It did not happen. Now that that's settled, the show must go on. We have to find our own of light after all. Yeah, um, there's some bad news about that. We'll see, fairy. We'll put on a performance that knocks your wings off. Wait, I, uh, was actually named the Alm already. Sorry I didn't mention it. What? Yep. Everyone, meet your new Alm of Light. Val. It was back in Wendell after we beat the Benevidon. At last. 
plot twist. No one saw this coming. Well, no one bet it. See. The truth, I made up my mind, and Fairy already delivered the news. Lumina. But then, what about our show? If we'll still play it. I mean, just because he's not. To decide on the own, what will we tell our patrons? They're expecting a big review. It's all there in the playbill. How anticlimactic! Oh, I get it now. The townsfolk look forward to this play every four years, like Windvan and Longring. The performers take pride in summoning the fairy. Let's we'll change it a little bit. Oh, well, you know, things just kind of worked out differently this time. Delafos, not this guy, but the real one. Where's my hand? Troop leader, I have an idea that would make this the biggest show of our lives. Oh, it's going to be good. Performance. Special how? We had a fifth act featuring the Alm of Light. Then we have a scene where Val leaves for the Mana Tree. It'll connect the story of the past to current events. Oh, thanks for the um likes, guys, on Facebook. I do appreciate it. Speaking role, just a guest appearance. Maybe swing your sword around. You know, play up your allness. Do you want a part, Lumina? It is a once in a four year chance to give the people what they want. My time has come. I've always wanted to be a star. <laughs> I was made for the stage, baby. You're kind of a real star, aren't you? The rest of the alms can sit in the reserved seating to watch the show. Oh, wait a minute. I never agreed to any of this. What about luck? You're doing this. I mean, you you took their arms away, so I guess this is the best thing you can do. Thank you for your patience. Without further ado, to raise you. very similar to the fairy, though. Delophos and Cerulea. Well, this is a. The good thing about this place, guys, is they've got plenty of room. Oh. You know what? If we're going to a play, it'll be really boring to me. And it comes to fairy, war on cue, even though she doesn't need to be here. Hmm. Now we can go to the mandatory, guys. And now before you ask, this is not the end, guys. Guys, it's still got a bit to go. The only good thing, guys, is we're so levelly high, it's not even funny. I'm honoured that we could see you off on your journey to the mana tree in our own way. And I think I speak for all of Lorimar when I say, we're counting on you. Stay safe. Well, he is the uh, assault guard, so he shouldn't have no trouble. I mean, it would be a weird place to live, wouldn't it? It's cold all the time, snowing. It's like going to the mountains. Oh, such a thrilling theatrical. I have never been more moved by a melodrama. Fairy attends this performance for every pilgrimage, huh? She really steals the show. <clears throat> now then, all the alms are accounted for. Shall we be off to the Tree of Mana? Yes! As for myself... I have said my goodbyes to my colleagues in Lagrazzo. I am prepared to fulfill my duty. About that. Before we sacrifice anything, we have to ask for an audience with the Mana Goddess. She's gotta know some way to stop Delafos. Ah, oh, yes. You cannot leave Delafos unchecked. May I ask what makes you think the Goddess can assist? Why not? Delafos seeks revenge, and his target is the Mana Goddess. She's in grave danger. Plus, he's looking pretty bizarre these days now that his power is returning. Yeah, you look pretty psychopath. First and foremost, we have to talk to the goddess. 
If that is the consensus of the group, I have no objection. Though I find your lack of enthusiasm curious. Enthusiasm? Why am I not surprised? You do realize that no person has been simultaneously chosen as both the Soul Guard and Alm of Light in all recorded history, do you not? And yet, you continue on as though you're unfazed by this unprecedented phenomenon. Because we're not. Val, may I request an interview so that I might write down your thoughts for posterity? Uh, maybe later, yeah? I know that being named an Alm is rare under any circumstances, but... I'm still just me. I don't feel any different. All that's changed is the goal at the end of my journey. What I know in my heart needs to be done. With Dalefos still out there, this pilgrimage will be the hardest that any Alm has had to deal with, probably ever. But I'm still here, and I'm still your soul guard. And I won't let anything happen to any of you. Ah, that's so sweet. Of course. Here we get going in. The last I see, your resolve is evident in both word and action. Admirable. I'm rooting for you all. Go get him. Yep. All right, let's go. To the sanctuary oh, to with the goddess of mana at last. Uh, I think we're going to go back in there and talk to someone. I don't know if it's in here. No, it's on the outside. Just make sure we require all the side questing, guys. Because when we're going to do side questing, pretty much before we fight the final bosses. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. We've got to run through those big clouds. Remember those um, enemies that we I said that are really hard? The big blue cloudy things? They're the enemies he's referring to. Um, anything done here? No, but we have to get up there. The oh yeah, guys, we've still got a lot to go. So we're, all, we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be doing the final boss, but I won't be doing that until after we've done all the side questing. Um, then I'll probably do the final boss, and then the other boss, and then we'll come back to... Yes. I'll probably do these things off camera. On my... Uh, on recorded guys i mean i didn't record because they could be difficult and they're not going to be worth their own stream so i think it just makes more sense to do it that way there's gonna be times where i do it like that all right let's get out of here um let's go here save and then head back over there sometimes the game crashes guys so i can't risk that happening Saying that, it hasn't not happened once in this whole playthrough, so... I must chronicle every detail of our soul guard Kum Alm's journey. Of course you do. Every word he said, every path he's trod. Oh, and I mustn't forget the events at Tereshi. Aish is keeping himself very busy with his records. Yeah, well, it keeps him happy. I'm just glad he joined the convoy. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here, guys. We're heading for the mana tree, so we've got to head back to the um, Dende Hips Up, I like they're called. And then we go through there, and then we can go in. And there's a few bosses there, by the way. Once we do that, yeah, we've still got a few enemies, and then we're really close to the end. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Follow that star. The star will take me exactly where I'm going to go. It's... There it is over there. Alright, there's that manage tray there. i have got to head over here, guys. Um, and talk. Let's do it. I wish it was nice that everyone could. All right. Um. All right. Just gotta go up there, guys, and then we can make it our way there. So I can't believe we've already done so much, guys. I mean, it's, we've only done a few videos.
All right, let's go. So yeah, guys, I'm not going to be streaming too long tonight, I don't think. Um, tomorrow morning's going to be interesting because it'll be my first Minecraft for nearly two, three weeks. And at the moment, my round one there is playing up, so it's going to be fun. Let's use the Meridian to travel. I'm going to try to configure it tomorrow morning before I do it, obviously. And also, the way this is set up, guys, I'm happy with it. Uh, where are we going? Not going here. Let's use the Meridian to travel. Actually, what am I doing? I can just say I can just go all the way there, can't I? Duh. Yeah, so we can just go here and fast travel straight to where we're gonna go. There we go, guys. Now we can go there, guys. Get that out the way. Uh, eventually, guys, we'll get the new transport. We'll be able to fly. For his help earlier. He probably saved our bar tack there. Goodbye, convoy. Hello, calamity. I was so desperate to get Hina's core stone. I almost lost myself. Yes, you did. You didn't think. Arms, I see you have returned. Phew. You had me worried, Trent. Thanks for the help with Delafos earlier. Your thanks is unnecessary. As the overseer of the sanctuary, I could not sit idly by and allow harm to come to the arms in the midst of their pilgrimage. Trent? As in the century of the sanctuary? Watcher of the alms' passage? He is much larger than recorded in the texts I've read on the subject. Uh, could I perhaps... Not now, Aish. Focus. As for you, Soul Guard Val, here is where the escort's journey ends. I have bidden farewell to many a Soul Guard in my time here as the Overseer. However, you have been appointed as an arm in your own right. You may proceed onward to the mana tree with the rest of the arms. Thank you. I am honored to fulfill my duty as the Alm of Light. But before that, I want to talk to the Mana Goddess. Curious. I would inquire as to what you have seen and heard on your travels that would prompt such a request. Please enlighten me. Mm -hmm. We know that Delafos is planning to take his revenge on the Mana Goddess, but we don't know why. He's going around reviving Benevidants to stir up trouble. Sure, we defeated three of them already, but that's not the point. The point is that De Lafos is regaining strength, and now he looks really weird and really menacing. We can't let him keep going like this. How true. Before long, he will arrive to assault the Sanctuary. We seek a way to stop his progress, but we need the Goddess's guidance. You plan to stop De Lafos yourselves? Yet again, you surprise me. We feel partially responsible for his resurrection and sudden rise to power. Plus, he still has Hina's core stone. I have to fix this before I can give my soul to the cause. Please understand. Your plight is noted. Mm, it is not my wish to place any undue burdens on the alms, nor on the goddess of mana herself. But I believe I am coming to understand what the elemental spirits saw in you when making their choices. There yeah, is it's all future. Brewing in KDL. Guys, come on. Arms, you may enter the sanctuary with my blessing. Prepare your minds and hearts for when your souls will be necessary and for what purpose you have been called. Ominous words, my friend. We'll stop by after we hash things out with the mana goddess. How about you wish us luck on our way? Hmm. Very well. Until we meet again. Well, incredibly friendly tree. Take care and keep a weather eye out on the road ahead. Oh yeah, guys, it's gonna be a lot of battling coming up now. We'll try. 
We've still got five more to beat, and plus the big few bosses down there. To see the mana Let's go! As I said, guys, um, I'll be recording this. But when it comes to um doing the side quest and all that, I won't be recording that. That'll be boring. Karina, wait. Wish Karina stop doing that because every time she does that, she gets in trouble. Ah, the mana tree. We're in the area. It's gotta be the tree of mana. Wow. It's beautiful. Almost familiar in a way familiar yes it makes sense that you feel that way ah the fairy's home the fairy trapping those bees as always i see life begins with the mana tree and when your time in this realm is over your soul returns here to continue the cycle of rebirth ah oh then the mana tree oversees not just the alms, but all creatures. It's where all souls end up. When the world was still Fadiel, the mana tree was in the spirit realm, right? Yes. If Kijiel had not been created, you would never have had the opportunity to see the mana tree. Incredible. If only I could tell everyone back home what a stunning sight this all is. Well, it would have been nice, but can't. We've wasted enough time looking. It's time to get some answers. How might one find the goddess in order to seek an audience? Follow the path and it will lead you to her. Be sure to stay on the path, though. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's not like any enemy's gonna fight me. I mean, Jesus Christ, we are so powerful. 90, level 92, I think. Or close to it, maybe 91 still, but. But that's. Monsters? Here? We never had monster infestations before. There goes the neighborhood. The barrier around the mana sanctuary is meant to be impenetrable. However, I happen to have several hypotheses over the origins of these sanctuaries. Get all born here. Some species might have been trapped inside of the barrier at the time of its fabrication. Or perhaps specific species are able to puncture. Oh my, Master Ace is muttering to himself yet again. Let him talk. Maybe he'll bore the monsters to death. We should get going, but... Be careful, everyone. Hey guys, we're not gonna have problems. We're level 92, 91, 92, whatever the level. I mean, we are gonna be so monsters once we were in the sanctuary. What could be the cause? Yeah, no, okay, let's do this. Look at this. Uh yeah, we're gonna be very powerful here. Look at that guys. We're only got another 30,000 experience before we get to the next level. We are severely overpowered. I mean, so overpowered, I don't even know if there's a word for it. But how did I miss that? Man, I gotta open my eyes. Yes. Keep an eye out, guys. We need to collect everything in this area. There's only okay, eight plus. So that will be thirteen. Or we got one, so it's twelve. If there were Go. Species inside of the barrier, we must take into account the change in habitat and evolution after the heavy trading. Well, here we go. Species. Gonna keep talking all day. Should we permit him to ponder uninterrupted? Words will not reach him at this stage. It's not very nice to say. It's supposed to be your friend. Don't say that. I mean, seriously. All right, let's do this. Get some crap. So yeah, guys, you're wondering where we're up to. We're almost at the mandatory. Mandatory is just over there. Um, we'll just go collect a few things, as you can probably see we're in the middle of that. Um, not really a lot more to do in this area at the moment. Oh, we've still got a lot more of the game to go, so I don't count it out yet. Um, we've got some little rev eyes over here. I mean, you can see we are so overpowered here. 
I'm hoping to get to the next level before the end of this area, but very good chance we won't. But there is a boss battle here too, so we might be able to. I don't know yet, guys. I don't know how this is going to work out. Alright. No, you won't. That's a weird spot for one of these. So we've got a lot to go, guys. Also, I have to do a piss, so that's another thing. Okay, that way. It must be another way there. What went through the minds of the Oms of old as they walked this path? Our thoughts often turn to those we left behind in times such as these. Bittersweet to reminisce, but my heart still feels warm. I'll bet you the Oms of the past will give us a warm welcome. They probably already moved on to another soul, so mate, I doubt it very much. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Okay, that's done. Um, we're almost there. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong way, wrong way. This way. Yes. I mean, we can go here. Yeah. That's a save area. Um, first we go over here. I want to explore this entire area, guys. I know there's some enemies up here that we can deal with. Alright, that's done. Alright, let's get going. Go this way. Here, I've got some enemies to beat up. I mean, they're not that strong. Oh, so close to it. Um, no, I don't care about that. I'm sure we're done. We've done. Okay, we've just got the one more over here to do, and then we can. What the head to the toilet, guys? Well, you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm with... So all souls return to the mana tree eventually. In that case, I wonder if Orin and Liza are back yet. Hey, everyone. We made it. Val, I am sure your voice has reached them. Oh, guys, give me a second. I gotta go to all it. Um, it won't be gone that long, like a minute or two. I thought you just gotta go, you just gotta go. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Had to go. All right, so let's continue. All right, let's go into the manager tree, guys. The manager tree is just over there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get there easily. Huh? The path stops here. Then how do we get to the mana goddess? Fairy could well have indicated the wrong route through the sanctuary. Her directions were vague at best. Do not doubt that you are on the correct path. It's Vadiz, the White Dragon Princess. Golly, what are you doing here? You, your companions, and even I must face whatever future lies ahead of us, come what may. Don't worry, Vadiz 
is like Trent, an emissary of the goddess. Can you tell us how to continue on the path ahead? I am the keeper of the future. How you choose to proceed depends on the answers you provide. I don't like the sound of that. There are many roads you may take, each with their own consequences. Do you understand? No, I'm apparently stupid. So, we have a choice to complete the pilgrimage or not. But that decision is why we've come to the goddess. Please, let us speak to her and ask for her wisdom. After learning the truth, how will you feel? Will you accept it? The truth? Have you the strength to face the truth of this world? Maybe. You do not know the depth of your conviction. What resides within your heart? Make me understand your intent. Your hearts will lead you along the path you seek. She wants actions, not words, then. We must convince her of our conviction. Yeah, these enemies are not even that hard. I do not intend to blink. Now come. When tilling the lands to bear fruit, one must bear in mind the myriad disasters they will face. Extinguish the bane that threatens to incinerate all. This will continue until we can come up with an answer. Test your might. Right, that that one, I think. That is correct. All right, got it. Bring it on. I'm ready for anything. As many rounds as it takes. Though mortals yearn for the future. They are hindered by the shackles of their past. Expel the knowledge that leads mortals astray. That'd be the darkness. Shall we offer a reply? Think carefully. Well done. All right, got it. I mean, these enemies aren't that hard, so. Final one. All right, one more. Middle one, guys. All right. All right. All defeated, guys. Now I'm gonna check this message. Oh, pretty easy though. And then we made it to the next level. So that's done. All right, now yeah, we've got the bloody thing. We can go there. Um. journey indeed the alms final destination and yet we aren't here to offer our souls like those that came before us we need to meet with the goddess 
Yes, we do, guys. We need to see a godless because there's a lot of distraction going on. Trust me, we've got to work. Oh my god, it looks like failed. I am the guardian of this sanctuary. There are humans living within the barrier? That's news to me. Living? No. I am but a strong will given form. Consider me like one of the spirits. To put it in terms you may understand, I am the first in the long legacy of soul guards. You passed Vadiz's trial admirably, Val. I should not be surprised given that you are of my own bloodline. You are my ancestor? If we assume that long ago, people from Tianea were chosen to stand guard over the mana goddess, and that practice has held over to this very day. Uh huh. Then he is the origin of the soul guard tradition. Yeah, we kind of worked that out. He pretty much just said that. Unchanged since I first accepted it. Protect the goddess of mana. Do you know where we can find her, Guardian Coda? We need to speak with the goddess as soon as possible. You may refer to me as simply Coda. Trent and Vidiz have relayed your current plight to me. Come. I will take you to the mana goddess. Good. Even though we can't really do much, I mean... One of my ancestors is here? In the sanctuary? Well, I can't keep him or the mana goddess waiting. Time to go. All right, so it's not that easy. Do 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 do. Goddess of Mana. I'm Val, and these are my friends. We've come here to ask for a moment of your time before we offer our souls. Uh oh, thanks for the like, guys. Delafos has broken free of his seal and is going around the world setting the Benevidons loose. His only goal is to get his revenge on you, Goddess. Y y you have to do something. We have so many questions to ask about Delafos and Core Stones and my strange ability. All of it. Yeah, she can't hear you. She's asleep. Goddess? I promise we're telling the truth. Please listen to us. We fully intend to sacrifice our souls when the time comes. But first, we have to protect the world from this danger. She cannot hear you. The goddess of mana is unreachable in her slumber. She has not once awakened since she first fell into this long, long sleep. Not a single source I have read has ever referenced that the goddess was in this state. No one has ever been allowed this deep within the sanctuary. Her condition is not known to any others. But Delophos is breathing down our necks. The goddess was our last hope. Coda? How did she end up like this? Vadiz believes that you can be trusted to make your own decisions. So, I will tell you. Tell you how this all came to be. The truth behind this world. Mm. What oh, guys. happened to the goddess? Koda should have some answers at least. He does, but they're not good in answers. I mean, it's a tragic story. Fadiel, the world as it was once known in the distant past, was made up of five realms the spirit realm, the mortal realm, 
the mystic realm, the ethereal realm, and the arboreal realm. Mana power once flowed freely through these places, and Fadiel knew only peace and prosperity. That. Until one day, mortals, in their greed, sought to use that power for warfare. Yeah, it sounds like us. The flow of mana was disrupted, and the five realms became perilously unbalanced. The mortal realm consumed an enormous amount of mana, plunging the mystic realm, home to the Benevodons, into disarray. Yeah, okay, explains it. The divide between the realms weakened to the point that all worlds merged into one. When the mana dried up, the monsters unleashed their wrath. The discord that had driven people to degrade the powers of mana ended, and their battle against the Benevodons began. The goddess wished to save the mortals from suffering at the hands of the Benevodons. So she asked Fairy, her emissary, to find Delafos, name him her champion, and bequeath unto him the mana sword. Which and as did. promised, he successfully subdued all eight Benevodons. Fact. However, he refused to return the mana sword and instead swore revenge against the goddess after the death of Surulia. Is that what changed Delafos so drastically? He lost the person most dear to him. Sounds like Delafos couldn't come to terms with her passing. Indeed, Delafos saw no reason to care about a world bereft of the one he loved. So he turned against the mana goddess. Attack you so okay. She ended up using all her strength to preserve a corrupted world. With her power exhausted, the goddess then fell into a deep sleep. It was up to the guardian of the sanctuary, namely me, to stand against De La Fosse with the help of the elementals. But it was not enough. We struck each other at the same time, resulting in his stone imprisonment and my destruction. Only my will survived. If only I had been stronger. So, Coda, Delafos, and I all carry the same pain within us. Hmm. True, but you don't go around destroying things, so. Well. Responsible for that boulder by the entrance, huh, Coda? Yes, though he managed to break free, regardless. <laughs> With the help of the elementals, I was able to divide Delafos's terrible power and seal it away with the Benevodons scattered across the land. Uh, hello, dude. But What's I going on? The strength of his hatred. His power was steeped in animosity. Which bled into the surrounding lands, creating horrible disasters in its wake. Eruptions will scorch the earth with fire from every. Yeah, that's a that's a nice with name. Rage and the winged fall flightless. Pure waters that will to do on work. Ah, okay. Soil that once brought life turns. Oh, I'll just listen to this stone. until it finishes. Verdant lands will wither away and seeds will cease to sprout. Ah, it's nothing to do. So it's twitch time. Will obscure the boundaries of reality. Ironic, so I don't really use Twitch to be honest. I haven't been streaming on it. I don't really watch anything on it. I might I'm doing pretty well. Um I'm just listening to this. Hopefully this ends very soon because it gets a bit boring after a while. Those prophesied disasters are actually the curse of Delafus's power upon the land. Then the source of these disasters was never the Benevodons at all. It was a curse. Brought about by a single man's folly from the very start. Strong emotions revitalize mana power. In addition, Delafos had access to the energy from the mana sword itself. What, close to the end of the stream or end of the game? To stop curse from well, it's not really close to either, to be honest. The worst effects from taking hold. But with the five realms now combined, the flow of mana slowed to a trickle. Elementals couldn't maintain that balance indefinitely. And so, without anything to check its dangerous powers... Nope, not even close. We're probably a bit over halfway. Probably about 60-70%. Tortured by the curse of Delafos, 
Mortals turn to the goddess for well, maybe a little bit more for close to 75 percent alms alms would travel to the mana tree and freely give up their souls their life force to the sleeping goddess as I mentioned strong emotions bring about mana power with the souls from faithful alms the flow of mana was rejuvenated for a time okay Alms restored the elementals could once again suppress the effects of the curse but after four years their stores of mana would once again run dry that's why the alms have to go to the mana tree to stop disaster from befalling our villages at the end of their pilgrimage i would change hey, luck, the core stones to give to the goddess yeah she's a bit of a firehead wait you can yes Val. your ability was passed down through my bloodline Originally, it was used to return monsters to the flow of mana. Reintroducing life into the flow of mana was how Fadiel maintained balance. So then, I... What I did to Hina... It... I think Hina was my favourite, to be honest, but... Uh, sooner or later, that fate was waiting for her in the end. Yes, as it waits for all homes who come to the mana tree. Your souls will be given to the goddess to protect the cycle of mana, including the soul of the Alm of Earth that you possess. Liza's? Ah! This is all we can do until the mana goddess reawakens. What's that? They're in trouble now. The barrier is under siege. What is going on? Probably the Benevolent. Looks like they're trying to break through. This is Delophos is doing. Yeah, but they won't be able to break through. They're strong, but not strong enough. Give up and surely and disappear. <laughs> I wonder why they made seven new. Yeah, I'm not too sure. <sighs> They're retreating. Oh, good. Yeah, for now. There is no sign of the man himself. Perhaps Delafos intended this attack to serve as a diversion? Oh. Delafos and the Benevidons are still a threat to us all, just like in the past. Things aren't looking so good for the world if these monsters run. It's the most boring one. If the oh, yeah. I don't think you've done anything, you just stand there. Our own forces. It is our chance to fix the future. Put you up there. Our loved ones need protection. But yeah, I'm still severely overpowered though. <laughs> We've already defeated three of these things. The remaining five will be a piece of cake. Coda, we need time. I promise we will offer up our souls, but we have to take care of the world first. We will stop the rest of the Benevidons and Delaphos before he hurts anyone else. I do not have the power to stop you either way. Do what you feel is right. The decision to fight should be left to the living. It is your duty, as protecting the sanctuary is mine. I believe your group of alms has untold potential to rejuvenate the flow of mana. And more. More what? It is not important. What matters is that as long as Delaphos has the mana sword, he will continue his assault on the sanctuary. Yes, he will. is kept safe within. Then we'll just have to reclaim the sword ourselves. 
It's the only way to keep disaster at bay. Returning the sword to its rightful place wouldn't hurt either. You should keep the core stone of the Alm of Earth. Abiding by the will of the Alms is important, after all. Coda is putting a lot of faith in you. I think you'll be able to handle the road ahead as well. Vadiz has also acknowledged their worthiness. It is time that I trusted in people once more. Though I cannot lend you my own power, I can at least release that of this little one. Doesn't make moving around the game much easier. But now we can fly anywhere, guys. Basically, got free range shot of world. Most of it. I do believe this is the sacred beast Flammy. Ramco must have been Flammy the entire time. Flammy has made many documented visits to our world. But I never dreamed I would be in her presence. Oh, I get it. Ramco was just another form of Flammy to begin with. Oh, I think it was just a child. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. Fix. Now, the worst thing is, when I do this, the game could crash. It's very unlikely, I already saved, just in case it does. If it does, I can just skip most of this anyway. Um, if it crashes, I'm going to be very annoyed though. I don't expect it to, it doesn't look like it did. Almost anywhere. Not so big. Big and strong enough to carry all of us. All the little ones grow up so fast. Remember that Flammy's power can only fly you around for so long. She'll revert back to her cup form when you land. Yeah, she's still, still got a lot growing up to do. Summon her whenever you need to fly. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think the Wind Sanctum should be a good start. Oh. She says it would be her pleasure. Then to Lagrazzo we go. What is? I can't even see it on her. Or him. Now then, with Ramco's permission, shall we be off to Lagrazzo? There's Ramco must really like the sound of that drum, huh? Yep, okay, let's land on the ground. Why those um side quests and we'll be relying on yeah. We might have to go toilet again soon. This time might be a long one. An excellent landing, young Ramco. Bravo. Hmm. <laughs> now then, I will begin the process of compiling what I observed within the sanctuary for analysis. You're not going to help us with the benevolence? Ah, oh, it grieves me to say it, but I must decline. <laughs> Though, please keep in mind that I want a full report on your exploits. I will add it to my account of this historic situation we find ourselves in. I suppose he is the best suited. It's okay that you want to analyze your data, but please don't let the information that Coda entrusted you with turn into gossip. Of course. Not to worry. I take great pains to compile my notes in secrecy. If it isn't the head curator and the rest of the arms, you're safe. Oh, we were worried when we heard the Benevatons were attacking the mana tree. I am as well as can be expected, thanks to the mana goddess's barrier. Word of the Benevatons' oh. revival has spread. Oh, okay, guys, I have to go to it. Have you determined where the monsters have appeared, perchance? 
Reports indicate that disaster is spreading to the lands that house the Benevadons. Besseroth, Benevadon of Wind, has been spotted in the Vale of Longrin. And Tormarni, Benevadon of the Moon, near Etern. Yeah, that's an easy one. All going to be pretty easy in a way. Water was seen outside of Ilustana. That's what I think is the um, one of wind. Is stalking Verdius Burrow as we speak. Scribes have already been sent afield to collect what information they can. Curious. The Benevadon of Fire has not been accounted for. Is there no word of Bulky Bell? I don't think he's as active. No reports out of the Tiania area as of yet. Our theory is that the Fire Benevadon still slumbers. How is that possible? He attacked the military. See. Unless he's gone back there to recover. News. It seems you all have four Benevadons to take care of at present. I can feel it. The flow of mana power in each area has changed. You could start in any location, but time is of the essence. My word! An emissary of the goddess! What a singular wing shape! Would you mind if I sketched it? No! I, I'm afraid I'm in a hurry. We should get going too. Good luck, Ish. Yeah. Farewell. We will meet again soon. I'm yes, sure. we will. There's so much to do, guys. Alright. I hate when it does that. Leave it to me. We can head out now. I want to activate the side quest in here. Yeah, so we're going there, activate the side quest, and fly out. Might be doing any of it at the moment, but we will soon enough. Let's rest up. Just save just in case. We're level 92, guys. We are so overpowered. Ah, uh... oh, yep. Nothing interesting. I don't really read these things that much, guys. I usually just... There's the other one up there. And now we'll fly out. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, this guy's easy as. Yes. Alright, um, let's get out of here, guys. We'll head to Longreach. That's the easiest one to deal with, I think. I wish this part would get cut out every time, but you have to do it manually. Alright. coming home at all is everyone okay no matter what you should be proud of what you've accomplished Karina isn't that right Ramco yep a landing this is one of the longer ones to do um so that's why we want it first and then I might finish up so we should be able to do majority of it in the next episode What's up with this wind? Whoa! Veil of wind? More like veil of hurricanes. You live like this, Karina? Are you kidding? No one lives like this. A Benevadon is behind this gale. I'd bet Lucre on it. Speaking of which, where is it? Fairy! Hey, Fairy! Nothing. Nary a peep from Fairy. She may have been blown off course before she arrived. Well... We should probably check with the chief anyway. Yeah, this is going to be another boring area. He's most likely to have an idea of what's going on in the veil. The chief is sure to know what's going on in Longgrave. Hey. Yeah, we will do that eventually, guys. Like I said, the side questing is not that important, so I won't be doing a lot of it. Not too near the end, in a way.
What is the meaning of this, Karina? <laughs> Hello to you too. Why would the Alms and Soul God return here to the Vale? You should be en route to the Mana Tree. The wind howls unabated. Is this not because you have failed to do your part and complete your duty as the alms? Man, he we're going. No, you got it all wrong. The storm is because of the Benevidon of wind. That's why we left the sanctuary in the first place to defeat those monsters. Mm. All this time, I assumed this was just the manifestation of the prophecy of disaster. Tell us where Besseroth is, please. The wind sanctum. But you must not venture there again, Karina. Shiryu has already tried. We have not heard from him since. I will not lose more people to that terrible place. What a nice choice. He disappeared? Why didn't you go after him? The path into the Wind Sanctum has been blocked by a large boulder. We have tried everything to make it budge, but it's no use. There is nothing more you can do, Alms. I suggest you return to the Mana Tree and fulfill your duty. I told you, defeating the Benevidons is part of our duty now. We're here to save the veil, you stubborn dummy. What's not clicking? Karina, it would be unwise to anger the Benevidon further. Oh my god, this guy is useless. Well, now that I know where the Benevidon is, we're finished here. I've got nothing more to say to you, Chief. The guy is an idiot. Let's, the road, everybody. Let's go save Shiryu from whatever trouble he's in at the Sanctum. Yeah, he's an idiot. That's all I'm gonna say, guys. Each other's throats as usual. She wanted to check out the wind sanctum. I should catch up with her. <sighs> yeah, I don't care. We've got lots of side questing to do, guys. Apparently, I don't know what that is. Okay. Apparently, I already done a side quest without even realizing it. Uh, let's go over here. Talk to these guys. Talk to you. Ba 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 ba. You're easy to do when I want when I go that way. If I ever go that way. All right, Karina. Whoa, it's a big boulder, isn't it? Look at the size of that boulder. No wonder no one has been able to get into the Wind Sanctum. Besseroth's doing, to be sure. I believe it's meant to be a warning. Oh, there you are, fairy. Flying in this weather has been difficult. Anyway, what are you going to do about the boulder? I don't see what the big deal is. Flamey can take us over it in no time. Isn't that right? <laughs> don't worry. You've got this, Ramco. Now transform! Hey, that's a no. Ramco, what's wrong? Are you sick? Does your tummy hurt? Are you scared of turning into Flammy? <laughs> what? You mean you don't want to go back to the Wind Sanctum? Wait a minute. Isn't that where Ramco used to live? Long time ago, yeah. I went to the Sanctum once when I was training as an Oracle. I tried to protect Ramco from a sudden violent gust of wind, but I got hurt. That's how I lost one of my wings, actually. Ah. Ramco never showed any interest in returning home after she brought me back to Longren. Maybe she wanted to forget all about the incident. But the longer we wait, the more I worry about Shiryu. Wounds of the body heal faster than wounds of the heart. We should look for another way in. Yes, we should. Yeah. Best not to push her too much. In that case... Do we attempt to ascend? Something tells me the people of the Vale would rather we got rid of the rock. But they mentioned they've been unsuccessful so far. I've got it! We gather the whole village together and push. Huh? It's a big town. Bigger than Verdius, at least. And we can help, too! I think we have a shot, is all. Everyone might have given up on moving this thing before they even got started. No one knew that it was a Benevidon's doing, after all. It's worth a shot. 
I'll go back to the Vale and talk to the villagers. Yeah, I don't know if you should be doing that. When I first met you, nothing could make you lift a finger for the Vale. True, but surely you noticed that I've since matured into a lovely, responsible alm. Yeah, I haven't noticed it. Don't cause any trouble on the way. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Morley. I'll be back before you can say, Stilfid. You stay here too, Ramco. I'll make the people of the Vale see reason somehow, so don't you worry. The question, the thing is, guys, it's not going to work out that way. I'll visit the chief, and I should talk to mom and dad. I guess I better get the other oracles on my side too. The rest of the Vale is sure to join us then. Maybe. I won't count on it though. Okay, Karina. Just explain the plan and they'll see reason. Yep, that's her family right there. Hey, Dad. Mom. Karina. How are you, honey? How's Ramco? That's the spirit? You're shaping up to be quite alm like. You know, reliable, confident. Now that you mention it. What's the alm of one doing here instead of the manager? I'm gonna get a drink, guys. You tell me you've abandoned your sacred duty, Karina. No, no, no. I'm still on the pilgrimage, Beautiful. believe you me. We're just taking care of other urgent business at the moment. Like what, young lady? Like defeating the Benevidon rampaging in the Wind Sanctum? That's why I'm here. I need help with the boulder block in the way. That does sound urgent, but what can we do? Nothing, that's what. That boulder isn't going anywhere. And even if we could move it, what then? You run off into the jaws of danger to fight a Benevidon? Honey, you could get hurt. You were appointed the Alm. You can't be so reckless anymore. Fantastic. You still have no faith in me. Do you think I'd lose against the Benevidon? Or that I'd run away from my duty? See what you did? You accused her of running away. What was I supposed to think? Alms don't just visit home after they leave on the pilgrimage. I know, but if you weren't trying to shift the blame, then... Stop fighting! It's like all you ever do is argue with each other and lose your temper and scold me! Our tempers? Look who's talking, Missy. Everything that comes out of your mouth is either a whine or a complaint. Oh, don't start, you two. You know what? Fine, forget I even asked. If you're not gonna help me, then I'm not gonna waste my breath begging. Karina. Oh, no. Not again. I can't Looks like she's still talking. Up. I forgot how quickly we get into arguments in this household. It didn't work out as well as I expected. <sighs> Should leave them be until we've all cooled down a bit. Knowing those two, they'll bicker for hours. Better move on to someone else for now. When will I learn? I should just say what I came to say and be done with it. Yeah, well, this dude's not going to be much better. This guy's just as bad. What is it? Were you not finished with all you had to say to me? I'm back because there's one more thing to say. We took a look at the boulder, and we think we have a plan. But we need the whole village to work with us to move it. Karina, I realize you are trying to help, but what do you think a few additional hands will accomplish? Besides, Veseroth placed that rock there for a reason, and far be it from us to anger the... Oh, thanks for the luck, dude. I it's appreciate it. Plan. But that's... Know that it is my responsibility to keep the people safe. I cannot ask them to court danger by helping you defy a Benevidon. How exactly do you think this is going to end up for you, huh? You think everyone is safer keeping their heads down and pretend like that monster doesn't exist? <sighs> According to legend, dragon folk once soared through the air until the Benevidon of Wind took away our flight. Wings useless, our tribe was forced to live upon the ground. Whether this is fact or fiction, we dare not bring Besseroth's anger down upon us again. That's an old fairy tale that I know you heard from Shiryu. And speaking of Shiryu, you can't even be bothered to go looking for him in the Wind Sanctum. That's one way of looking at it. I allow you to come to harm, even for the sake of another of our tribe. The 
alms are too precious to send on a fool's errand. So you're sacrificing Shiryu because you're scared? The same reason you're just letting the veil get pummeled like this. We can but trust in the winds of fate to spare us, Karina. Oh, God. You're a terrible chief if you're willing to put people in danger just to keep the status quo. Coward! How dare you speak to your elders this way? Well, it's true, but she's got to stop losing her uh, temper. Well, now I've gone and done it. I was supposed to convince the chief not yell at him. I know the chief has his reasons, even if they're stupid ones. I get why he doesn't want to risk endangering the villagers. I get it, but... Yeah. She gets it, guys, but she doesn't understand it. mad when I get talked down to like that. Alright. Okay, let's do this. It's been a while. Karina! How's the wind dying going? Remember, you've only got four years to master it before the fairies do. Give us a break. We're trying, but we can't exactly practice with all these gale winds raging through the veil. No, you're right. I'm sorry for teasing you. So? You're back in Longgren. What about finishing the pilgrimage? <laughs> about that. I have a request. The path into the Wind Sanctum is blocked, and I mean to do something about it. There's no way! People already tried to do something about the boulder, and nothing worked! That rock just does not want to give way. That's why we have to get everyone to help at the same time. Once we move it, I can enter the Sanctum and defeat the Benevidon. You want to go into the Wind Sanctum again? But Karina, you might get hurt. And then what'll we do? That's all anyone ever says to me. Do you want this windstorm to last forever? The answer is yes. I'll never be able to do the dying again. Oh, so now you're worried about the wind dying. You couldn't care less before you started your journey. Yeah, that sounds right. I asked you to help summon the fairy and you refused. She only came once you finally relented. Thank the spirits. And here you are, asking for favors from the very people you left out to dry. You want the boulder gone? Do it yourself! Excuses, excuses. When did you get so hard-headed, Nagi? You know what? I think I will go move that rock. And once I do, that'll teach you to doubt me. There we go. And she done it again. You gotta stop doing this. Uh, okay, that was definitely my fault. Before I was named the Yom, Shiryu and Ramco were the only ones who had my back. Of course I didn't feel like helping the rest of the Vale. Yeah, hey, but you can't expect them to forgive you. But it's too late to apologize for that now. I could explain myself until I'm blue in the face and it won't change what I did. Come on, Karina. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much here. Also, we're almost finished with the recording part, guys. We've still got to do another one. The that problem might be a full recording. I don't think anyone will give me a different answer. I'm just fighting against the air current at that point. <sighs> well, there's no use waiting around here. Yes, there is. Go back and deliver the news to Val and the others. All right, now back to... I need to go tell everyone how I couldn't convince a single person to help. You didn't convince me. Yeah, at him. You got him stupid and all. <laughs> Running around a bit too much, woman. I'm sorry, everyone. It didn't work. Yeah, too stubborn. It's not your fault, Karina. No, it is. I left Longren on such a sour note before. My own mistrust of people came back to get me. I didn't place my faith in them, so why should they place any in me? In fact, the original reason I wanted to become an almost was to get out of the Vale and see the world. 
my motives weren't pure at all. Maybe that confidence in my affinity to the wind element was really just me overcompensating for how little the villagers believed in me. I don't know. Karina. I wasn't the arm that Longra needed. I wasn't committed enough. Yeah, I don't think so. But now, after such a long adventure, I can say for sure that I want what's best for the world, and especially for my home in the Vale. I thought that we could lose everything. All the people we've met, the places we've seen, the memories we've made. I won't let that happen. We'll say about that. I'm ashamed of how I wanted the Vale to beg me to save them. I'd never do that again. Not now that I've seen so much of the world. Now it's up to me to prove that I've changed. I'll do whatever it takes to save Longren. I won't let anyone or anything get in my way. That's good at least. But I can't do it alone. Please, help me. And here I went through the trouble of composing you a song to boost your spirits. Guess I was wasting my time. No one could refute your current resolve, Karina. All you need do is rally and resume your efforts to remove the rock. Oh. Give the villagers a chance to see your hard work. It may take time, but they will come around eventually. We can't let them all down. We'll be the winds of change that fix things for the Vale. Can I catch you a slice it with the sword? So much. We've got this, Ramco. Don't worry. Yeah, this looks embarrassing. I mean, I got strength, but not that kind of strength. We may have overestimated our own strength. No, we got this. Just no, you don't. She weak. Sight seven. I I'm really grateful to you all. Let's get this done. I mean, if you transformed, you would have had the power easily to move that. I guess the wind would have pushed it off. And now it's broken and we have access to it. I mean, I just like watching these people suffer. That's what it is. I'm enjoying it. There we go. I'm just gonna want to rock. It's completely disappeared. Mess. I'll never get the stains out of my garb. Well, I'll be. We actually managed to work together and move that boulder. We did it, everyone. Well done. The Elemental of Wind granted us his divine assistance in our hour of need. With Sylphid's help, we prevail. And, of course, we owe our thanks to Karina, the Soul Guard, and the rest of the Alms for reminding us of what's really important. Well, don't thank me just yet. We still need to subdue Besseroth and find Shiryu after all. Yes, you do. So... You are going to the Wind Sanctum after all? Oh, even though that's where 
after you got hurt before? I'll be fine. I'm not the same person I was back then. Plus, I've got a bunch of dependable friends I can rely on this time. <laughs> You'll help too, right, Ramco? All right. Could it be? Is that the legendary sacred beast, Flammy? Thanks to all your support and your combined efforts, Ramco's not afraid to take us into the sanctum anymore. Thanks again. Leave the Benevidon smashing and sure he is saving to me. Come on, Val. Morley, Palomina, Julie. There's no time to lose. It's serious. And no one heard she's running away. always been a feisty one. I've barely had the chance to wish her well on her adventures. And yet, she was still able to bring the whole veil together. <laughs> She's gotten even stronger on her journey, it seems. Alright. Let's get this done. But yeah, guys, I'm going to finish the recording part of it because it's really over time. Well, sort of the um, cat screens and all that. 